Hello and uh, welcome to this presentation on how to move uh, audio CDs around internet. As said in the previous video, this is the second one on the series, the audio CDs are older than 80s, 1980s when computers were invented and so do not have data hierarchy. That means that you cannot drag and drop the files and to move the music or the whole disk you need to extract the, the data into specific files and then you can move around. And in the previous video I, I already explained how to uh, dump the data into an audio file, sorry, an audio disk into a file in order to be sent through internet. In this one, I'm going to do the opposite. Okay. In this case, what you have to, what is expected is you to learn how to record a blank CD with the master disk that we are going to send you uh, in order to verify that everything that we have done is correct. When you get a file from us, uh, it usually will be a zip file, a compressed file that you have to uncompress in in Mac and Windows and you can do it standard. And by the way this is a Windows presentation. It will be on the on the header of the of the file oh, sorry of the video. When you uncompress the zip file you will get something like this where you get the in this case uh, you will have three four files which are these ones. This uh, is the one which actually holds the data. The other are uh, instructions for the software to write the disk in the proper way. In the previous video, the number one of the series, I explained you how to do it with a freeware which is called EMG Burn. Burn is this one. Image Burn or whatever. Uh, you can do it with a commercial software like Nero. If you have it, no problem, you can use it because this is a standard way of moving audio files, sorry, audio disks. So, uh, this one is free, uh, you can download from the internet and so if you do not have any other means to record uh, disks, you can download and use it. So, we open it and in the welcome screen there is a, a click button here to write the image file to a disk. This is the one that we have to use, that by the way is also used to write the file. So we select the, the, the uh, file which is here, which is in my sorry, in my, my desktop, in my WinQ uh, folder. And here I have to choose the .q file, not the .bin file. So I choose this one, <coughs> and I get uh, that this uh, has three songs that has some other technical layer that is not useful for us. I already have a blank disk insert into the array, so I just need to record, which is pressing this button which is what I'm going to do. Uh, this takes a very short time. And as, as you know, when you record uh, this, it takes quite a, a, a time in order to start the, the, this process, the laser calibration. It takes uh, some time. But uh, when you are doing a presentation, this makes uh, awkward moments. But uh, then it starts and takes a, a short while. Um, since uh, this is just waiting, what I'm, I'm going to do is, well, I was going to stop, but since it's going so fast, I think it's not necessary to, uh, to stop the recording. So once uh, we reach 100%, the disk will be written, and what we need to do is to 
uh, take the disc, put it into a player, and listen to the music and verify that everything is as expected. The music is correct, the sound, the quality, the loudness and anything. Uh, this is a message that says that the, uh, my, since I'm doing this in a portable computer, it doesn't have the um, uh, auto close. And I have to do it manually. So I have the list here, everything is fine and as expected. Not the music, but you have to listen, remember. So thank you very much for listening, oh, sorry, for viewing, and I will continue with the next presentation in the Mac. Thank you. Bye.